Hello everybody, welcome to the JavaScript course. In this video, I'm going to discuss the import and export of modules in JavaScript. This is the second part of such a topic in my course. So the first part to talk about is that only the first import of a module can be loaded. So I'm going to show you an example to demonstrate this property. And then I'm going to show you the way to modify the exported object in another module. And finally, I'm going to show you the default export of functions or variables. Now, let us see the HTML file first. The HTML file is rather simple. I have a heading here followed by a title. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the way to load the modules. And the first thing to talk about is that the module code gets loaded when it is first imported. So it means that the upcoming imports of the same a module, but use the same loaded module. So in this situation, we can only say that the first module imported is loaded. So I'm going to show you an example. Suppose I have a JS file called import one dot JS, which is here. You can see that I have just a simple instruction called an alert window, and then I'm going to load this module twice. And we will see that only the first input is entertained. Okay, you can see that I have one um, loading here. I want to load the uh, content from the input one dot js, and let me show you the effect. Before doing so, I have to run the live server by clicking on the uh, go live button. Okay, it has already started, and you can see that the Hello World alert window is already loaded in the uh, window here. Since I have only one instruction here, I can just load the um, alert window once only. But how about doing the same thing for one more time? Is it possible to show the um, alert window twice? It is actually not possible. So let me show you the uh, situation now. Now here I just type the uh, same instruction once more. So it seems like we are going to load the uh, module twice, but it is not possible. We can only just have one operation coming out. Let me save it. And then I'm going to reload the page. Okay. Let me try again. Okay, you can see that the first alert window is shown. And when I click OK, I'm not able to show the alert window once more because only the first import is entertained. Okay, so we can only load the first import. Even though we have two instructions loading the same um, module, it is not possible for me to um, execute the same module with this, the same um, file name twice. Okay, so we have to notice this basic idea of the import of um, modules in JavaScript. And then I'm going to show you another example. Now I'm trying to modify an exported object. So the process is like this. In essence, I have to export an object from a certain um, JavaScript file first, and then I'm going to modify the exported object in another JavaScript file. After that, I'm going to import the same object to the third JavaScript file to show us the uh, altered effect. So let, let's uh, do it step by step. So here I've already got a JavaScript file called uh, exports.js, which is um, here, maybe here. Okay, this one is rather simple. I have a certain instruction to export an object called person. I'm going to export it to uh, import2.js. So this will become my first step. And in import2.js here, I'm going to edit the content after doing the uh, usual import. So I say that I want to import an object called person from a certain JavaScript file called my exports.js, which is just this um, object, okay? And then I'm going to edit the exported object in this um, import2.js. How can I do so? Let me show you my way now.
Now I want to change the uh, person dot age to 21. Originally it was um, 16, but now I turned it to 21 in another um, JavaScript file. Okay, so this is um, something happening after the import. So let me save it. Um, and before doing so, I have to see the uh, third instruction here. And then after the modification in import to .js, I'm going to import the same object to another um, JavaScript file, which is this one, import 3.js. And in this one, I can just use the uh, usual import approach, something like this one, import a person object from my xbox.js. So you can see that I export an object from my xbox.js, which is the origin of the object definition. But now we can see that uh, we have some changes in another um, JavaScript file. So this changing effect can be uh, realized in another JavaScript file. So then let's see how we can uh, see this effect. So I just used two another windows to show the content of the person object. You may expect that the um, age is also changed accordingly after the uh, change in import to.js. So is it really the case? Let me show you now. Before doing so, I have to uh, load the corresponding JavaScript file in my HTML file. Okay, here, um, import to.js is loaded. So this file is responsible for making some effects of the uh, originally loaded person object. I'm going to change the uh, content of the object in this current uh, import.js um, file. And then after the change has occurred in import2.js, I'm going to load this um, ex exported object to import3.js and then I load this um, import3.js uh, in my HTML file now. So uh, you can see that I load the uh, exported object in my import3.js and this um, import3.js should be able to uh, show the changes that occurred in import2.js. So let's see the result by saving all of, of the uh, files. So you can see that the hello world is coming out because I haven't uh, commented out the uh, first uh, part of my uh, discussion. After that, you can see that I can just show the name of the object called Peter, which is just coming from the um, my xbox.js. And you can see that um, the change has applied to the object called person. And you can see that the age has become 21. So this is the uh, effect coming from uh, import to .js. Okay, it is really possible to um, alter the content after the export. Okay, and the final part to talk about is the um, export of a default function or a default variable in a certain file. So let me comment out the um, previous parts first. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the third part of my video about exporting a default function or a variable. So we can see that I have already a certain uh, file called joinstring.js. So let us see the content first. Uh, I'm going to export a default function or a variable. Actually, there are three ways to export a default function or a variable. So the first idea is to use this syntax export default plus a name given to the variable. So let me show you the first approach to export a default function or a variable. So this is the first idea. I used export default function um, keywords and then I add my um, function name called join string. Okay, so this S is a capital letter as opposed to the file name that stores this default function. Okay, so 
you can see that the function name can be different from the file name. It doesn't matter for now, okay? So this function is rather simple. I just combine two strings that are passed to the function. So that is the basic idea. And then I'm going to uh, export this one to another JavaScript file called my script.js, shown here. And then when I do the export, I'm able to demonstrate the idea for you now. So let me try to type something here. So you can see that I'm going to import a default function called join string from um, join string.js file. And then I can just um, play with it by using the alert window. And you can see that I'm going to join the two strings together. So let us see the result. Uh, before doing so, we have to go back to the uh, HTML file to really uh, import that module. Of course, the module to import is called myscript.js. So you, you can see that I've already I, I included the myscript.js folder uh, in the HTML file so that I'm able to load this JavaScript file in my HTML file. So let us see the result by saving all of the materials. Okay, you can see that today is Monday is strong up here, which is just the uh, result coming from the uh, exported default function called join string. Okay, so in my script.js, uh, I have the alert window. That's why when I do the import in the my script.js file, I'm able to call the uh, exported default function. Since the default function is just the only function in the JavaScript file, it is very clear that the function is just that one called join string to be exported. So for this reason, we have to notice that we don't need to give the um, parentheses, which are the curly braces when we import the default export. Okay, And here we have to give the import name called join string, which is already uh, provided by the uh, exported um, content here. And the import name should be consistent with the module name. So you can see that uh, the module name is called join string. So I can just use join string, which is a capital S in, in the middle to uh, do the uh, corresponding export. Okay, And then I can see that the um, the import is really successful. I can show the content uh, obtained after calling the uh, exported default function. Okay, so I've only shown you the first approach of doing the default export. So let us try another approach. Okay, here. The second approach is called export default without a name. So the function name can be omitted because there's only one default export in the module. So the word default here means that we have only one function or variable to be exported in my current JS file. So you can see that the second approach is just using the word function without really adding a function name, like the first example I showed you beforehand. Okay, so. Is it possible to really do the uh, exporting action? It is possible. So let me try to save all the things. Okay, you can see that that um, today's Monday is shown up here because the export is successful. So when we go back to the myscript.js, you can see that I can give a name to the um, exported default function, and then I can use that name to do the alert window. That's why I can just give it a name, uh, an arbitrary one. Of course, the name has to be consistent with the uh, module file name. After that, I can use my import name to call the exported default function. Okay, so this is the second approach. And the third approach is also similar to this um, second approach. The third approach is that we can export the function by just using a list. So let me show you my way to export it using a list. Okay, the idea is like this. I have a, a 
function called join string, which is defined here. And then I can just export this function as default by surrounding the whole thing with a pair of curly braces. That means I'm going to export a list and I'm going to show that um, this join string function is really a default function. So I say join string as default. So after that, um, the my script.js is really able to um, capture this default function. And that default function is uh, given a name called join string in the uh, my script.js file. And this join string name is really the import name, okay, in the uh, current JavaScript file, okay. So let us see the result by saving all of the materials. Okay, you can see that uh, today's Monday is already uh, shown up here because uh, this JavaScript function is exported successfully. So when I use join string as default, surrounded by a pair of curly braces, I'm able to export the function, which is a default one, as a list. And then uh, other JavaScript file is able to import this um, default function. And after giving it a name, it can be called in the uh, another JavaScript file. So this video has already talked about so many things about um, import and export. We can see that only the first import can be loaded. Uh, upcoming imports is not entertained because it is just treated as a single import. Okay, and we can see that we can also modify an exported object, and the result can be shown up in another um, JavaScript file after the uh, explicit import from another JavaScript file. And finally, we can see that uh, we can really export a default function by um, the three approaches shown in uh, this particular JavaScript file. So you can just choose any one of the approaches to export a default function or variable. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.